afternoon hope you're all doing well so you join me today in the middle of the woods in Danbury to be precise which is a jumpers paradise um, so I really shouldn't be here because I can't jump properly um, but I try for an old man um, but today's tip is a very simple one very fundamental if you are going to be taking your mountain bike out and trying trails maybe for the first time maybe you're relatively experienced but you have been off the bike for a while do not ever use clipless pedals so some mountain bikes if you're doing trail riding or you just use it for cross country or kind of hybrid style riding then more often than not it makes sense it's efficient when you're pedaling to have clipless pedals like on a road bike but if you're doing anything which is kind of gravity oriented um, and that doesn't have to be gnarly downhill stuff but it can be drops gaps berms jumps sharp turns anything like that on a mountain bike then two things really firstly you want flat pedals so you don't want to be clipped in so if you do have to take evasive action jump off the bike and just let it go um, and incidentally most decent mountain bikes can take a lot of punishment so look after yourself first and if you do look like you're going to come off just let the bike go and try and fall safely if you can um, use an arm a hand anything but your face if you can um, but yes use flat pedals so you want a couple up of fairly decent flat pedal shoes these are 510s um actually got these second hand but they're pretty amazing they're very sticky so you want like a soft compound rubber paired with a flat pedal of some kind doesn't have to be top of the range these were fairly budget but they're dmr pedals and they are plastic these ones but they're very robust they've got a number of how many have you got there six seven eight nine ten yeah, 10 spikes, that's more than enough to keep your feet planted, which is the um, proper technique when you're trying to go over jumps, gaps, berms, any obstacles. So yeah, that's the first one. The second one, and um, this was on an earlier video actually, when I saw the, uh, showed, the showed you the installation first time round, you want pushing that saddle down as low as possible. The last thing you want, particularly when you're going down something like this, a big drop, leading into a table something like that the last thing you want is for that bike to be planted right up your ass because if you do have a problem um not going to end well for you or your prostate if you're a man um but i'm sure it's equally uncomfortable as a lady but yeah hopefully that's been useful for some people so flat pedals and keep that saddle down as uh, low as possible if you can and if you do get into mountain biking seriously um or even if you're kind of coming out infrequently it's going to make your life a lot easier if you get a dropper post and i'll do a proper installation video soon on that hope that's useful